What's up, everybody? Today we're going to check out uh, Sequitor and Sequitor Synth from Audiofire, two separate contact libraries. Um, Sequitor EX is the one that focuses more on natural sound sources, the samples, and stuff like that. And of course, Sequitor Synth is going to focus more on synthesized sounds with waveforms and saw waves and stuff like that. Um, same very similar interface if not exactly the same for each one just tiny bit different but all the controls are there between the two so let's start with um, sequitor ex we have four different expansions for this one as well it's pretty easy to work with and it has a bunch of presets or snapshots but a really nice way to look at the different functions of it is to start from scratch so i just duplicated that and i'm going to go here and Go to my snapshots and initialize that so it won't even play anything when we hit the keys. So there are two different sound sources for each sequence or each snapshot. So we can go here, turn it on. You can turn on and off the sequencer right here so you can just use it as a playable stuff like that. Um, of course, the whole point of this library is sequitor with the sequencer. So let's check that out. Pretty basic, so if you want to change that, we have eight, eight different programmable phrases or sequences here, which you cycle through by clicking that or enabling. Uh, it's, it's switchable with key switches on your keyboard as well. You notice how I just changed this note in the sequences. I was holding it down so it would play the pre-recorded or predetermined sequence, but I changed the note. You just click that and drag up and down with your mouse. It will change the note. You can also just turn it down. And if you don't hit save, so if you make a change that you want to keep, just hit save. If you don't want to keep it, when you play the note again, it will reset to the previous saved uh, snapshot basically you can speed it up uh, with key switches here that one slows it down this one here will speed it up Also, when you play a new note, it will restart at the beginning of the sequence. So I have another instance here where I found a sequence that I liked. Um, whenever I played a new note, I did not want it to restart the sequence. So I took two different sequences which were programmed in. One on that uh, switch, one on that one. So if you enable legato mode, which shows right here, legato on, it's with the key switch of B minus 1, turns it on. B, uh, B flat or A sharp minus one turns it off. So let me show you what that does. Normally when you were doing the sequence, let's delete it, we'll, we'll turn it off here with the that key switch. Now when I play the sequence, it'll restart at the beginning whenever I hit a new note. So you notice when I hit the new note there, this sequence down here restarts at the beginning. Let's turn legato mode on. And now the sequence will continue to play no matter which note you hit. So if you switch notes or root keys in the middle of a phrase, it will continue playing the phrase and it just adjust it to that new key, just like this. So watch this and you'll notice that it does not reset when I change notes. So you get a nice progression there. 
Um, so it's very easy to do that. Again, you can speed it up, you can slow it down, half time, quarter time, double time, whatever you want. So let's go through some of the presets. You get an idea of how the engine works. We'll take a listen to the presets, which will show us all the different sounds that we can use for this. So I'll take that same sequence here and just load up some different ones. Um, you can change between major and minor chords and different scales and stuff like that. Uh, so keep that in mind if you don't like any of the phrases or whatever. It's all customizable. You can make your own sequences very easily. We have lots of different categories to choose from for the presets or snapshots. And again, if you like the phrase or the sequence, you like one of the sounds, but you want to change it a bit, just scroll through the different sound sources. Click here, it'll be categorized from all these different, you know, strings, atonal, electric bass, guitar, synths, ethnic, all that stuff. And just, you know, swap them out. Very, very simple. Just click and you'll have a different uh, menu to go through for the sound sources. So you get the idea there. Now let's go through to Sequitor Synth, which is going to be more synthy, obviously, um, where that one had you know natural sound sources with the ethnic instruments, guitars, and strings. This is going to be purely synth based. So same controls, same functionality, but new sound. So let's check some of these out. Now that one, remember I used the same uh, MIDI data from the previous one, so it changed sequences in the middle. Uh, let's check that. I kind of like that second one there. It sounds like this. So some pretty unique results there just by switching between the sequences. Uh, remember there's a ton of snapshots. Um, this is just the synth ones. You know, you have basses, leads, keys, all that stuff. Uh, categorized by cinematic, modern, vintage, and then stuff they used in the demo track. And then the Sequitur EX... Um, the non-synth version is where most of the content will come because we have a lot of expansions for that. Definitely a lot of stuff to unpack there, but basically just keep in mind sequencer, 
based library. You can write your own sequences or use the predetermined ones that they have. You have eight different programmable sequences. Uh, you can turn on legato mode to, you know, let that sequence play all the way through. Switch keys in the middle as the sequence continues. There's a lot of different functions here as well as effects and everything. Um, so a lot to cover, but just a brief rundown right there. Really very useful and inspiring instrument from Audiofire. As usual, they have some really top-notch stuff. I've never seen a bad product from them. So that was a quick look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know what you think, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.